Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas day 14. I'm so tired. Can you use my new mug? <sighs> Cheers. Editing time. I just finished getting ready. I did like a little messy chill look. I'm just wearing this sweatshirt, my new balance dad shoes. Put my hair in a ponytail because it looked like shit. I've kind of been wearing a lot of ponytails recently. Don't know what that's about. Oh, the lighting was atrocious. But now I think I'm gonna go into town and get an acai bowl. There's this place. So I used to be obsessed with pliables. It was like my death row meal was a Nutella bowl from pliables. It's my favorite food in the entire world. But my friend Brittany showed me this other place called Beach on King Street in Charleston. It's like the exact same thing as Nutella bowl from pliable, except it's better. Like it tastes better and the texture is better and I've been daydreaming about it. So I think I'm gonna go get that and then might go to a cafe. I don't know. I don't have anything to edit since I literally just started this vlog. I just want to be in town. Just want to be like amongst the people. I'm just gonna pack all my stuff in case and we'll see where the day takes us. I kind of want to get my acai bowl and then go like sit somewhere like maybe in the park or I don't know. We'll see. Acai bowl is secured, but it's unfortunately way, way colder than I thought it was gonna be. And I didn't bring a coat. So I'm gonna go find an indoor cafe to sit at. I'm walking through the College of Charleston campus right now. Why is there like a whole Christmas show going on? What is going on? The College of Charleston campus is actually so pretty. I need to do like a whole walkthrough one day. I've only walked through like the outskirts because I'm like, I don't want to be an imposter student, but. Guys, I'm officially a local because the barista remembered my order. She remembered that I have a hazelnut iced latte with oat milk, but I ended up getting a matcha instead. <laughs> wow, I'm literally a regular. I think I want to find somewhere to go read my book. This is the book I'm reading and you guys already know. I think I want to go sit by the water and read my book. Speaking of my book though, I want to talk to you guys about something very exciting. This video is kindly sponsored by Fable, but we're starting a book club. As you guys know, I've been reading this book throughout Vlogmas and I feel like I've been talking your ear off about it, but obviously it's like one-sided. It's just me talk, talk, talking. But the Fable app is designed specifically for moments like this where I just want to talk about a book with you guys. I started a book club and I'm going to link it down below. It's on the Fable app. You can basically just use it as your go-to reading platform. Actually, your go-to platform for anything about books. You can review them, join book clubs. You can read on the app. You can annotate books on the app, discuss the books with other people. You can buddy read with your friends. It is literally just the ultimate app for readers. So I started my own book club I posted a prompt on there to go introduce yourselves and give us your favorite book And then they also have a for you feed on there, which I think is so amazing You can see people all people people you don't follow whatever talking about books recommending books You can post a little message like what is everybody reading today and get like all these random people from all over the place Who are on fable responding to you you could be like I need this very specific trope where it's enemies to lovers, but then she gets hurt and he's like, who did this to you? And then you can have like a whole trope. You can write it all out. And I'm sure some person on Fable is gonna give you like 10 book recommendations. <laughs> and if you wanted to, you can also start a book club. It could literally be just like you and a friend, your friend group, you and your mom, your sister. It could be anyone. You can start your own if you wanted to. Just like to have a place where you and your friends can talk about books or you and people you know online can talk about books or you and I can talk about books. You can also keep track of your whole TBR. You can rate the books. There's even half star options, which is very exciting for me because you know I'm stingy with my ratings. And then it recommends you books for your TBR based on what you like. And you can also sync your Goodreads and your Kindle to the Fable app so that your recommendations are even better. You can also read books directly on the app. Because it's integrated with the club, it's different than Kindle or any other e-reader because you can like take notes and annotate it and then see the other people in the book club's annotations on your book if you click on it. Kind of like Wattpad bringing back the good old days. And you can decide to keep your annotations public or private because we all know you guys are probably annotating some private things. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna link it down below. I'm so excited about it. And if you have read the Christmas fix or you want to, or you just wanna see what we're all talking about, you can head over to the Fable app link down below. And we'll obviously switch the book when the time comes, like maybe once a month or something. Um, I'm still only halfway through, so. I'm working my way through it. We can talk about it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly talk about them because I'm so excited about it. And thank you, Fable, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, I came to one of my favorite places in my entire city because it's so quiet. 
it's basically just this park that literally no one is ever here besides like people playing with their dogs which is like what's going on right there but it's right on the water and it's where the sun sets right there and there's benches and stuff there's a playground for kids like occasionally i'll see kids at the playground but it's usually fairly really empty here um i discovered it when my little brother was here on vacation we went like scouting because it was like the first month i lived here and we found this pier out there and we like ate pizza and stuff out on the pier and there was no one else there i just love finding like little hidden gems like this i'm gonna walk towards the water actually there's benches over here which is where i would usually sit but this lady is playing with her dog and i don't want to like interrupt her <laughs> and i also want to be able to vlog so i might walk further down but i just want to walk by the water real quick there's a little rainbow in the sky over there i don't know if you can tell it's windy it's really low tide so there's like some sand right here i see a bench all the way out in the distance over there and the sun is shining on it and i want to go sit there like it's so peaceful i know i say that every single day but i just cannot believe it that bench literally has my name written all over it i'm literally just gonna sit here under this tree watching the sunset and i have my book it's so amazing this tree is actually so cool that i'm sitting under it's huge I just, I don't think anyone understands how I'm gonna cry right now. I can literally just look out at the water and I just wanna cry. Cause like, this is like the best day of my life. <laughs> oh my God, look at the rainbow. Oh, you can't really see it in the camera. The rainbow, oh there. I'm making a pretty good dent into my book. I'm now on chapter 31. I think I was on like 24. I'm <laughs> just having the best time. I wish you guys were just like sitting right here. I could just like hang out with you. I mean, it is like we're hanging out. Like imagine if you're just sitting right there. I think there's someone on the pier. I want to go out there, but I don't want to like disturb their peace. And also I like to be by myself. To be that man out laying on his sailboat right now. Do you think he lives on there? It's that one right there. I think there's like birds migrating or something. I don't know what's happening. There's so many of them. I'm having one of those moments where you just like stare at everything and you're just like, wow. Like, I'm alive and I'm just like living my life. Like, I can't believe I moved here. <laughs> I live here in South Carolina. Who would have thought? Not me. Okay, I just got back from my lovely sunset. Now it's dark out and I went to my PO box. That's always exciting. I think I'm gonna start with this one from Amazon. <gasps> yeah! Oh my God, I'm so excited. Look it. <laughs> I ordered the full box set of The Hunger Games. I already have the published Hunger Games books, but they're at my parents' house and they're kind of like the family's books. I think me, my brother, and my mom all use them. So I feel like they're like low-key my mom's, even though they were in my room. So I just decided to order my own set, plus I needed The Ballad of Songbirds and, Sa and Snakes because I haven't read it yet and I want to read it over the holidays. That's going to be like my Christmas New Year book. Let me see it. But I've already read the first three, but I'm probably going to end up rereading them after I read The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes because I'm going to get back in my Hunger Games hardcore phase. And I don't really remember all the details. I read it when I was in 8th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade, before the movies came out. Oh, this should be the book club book next month. Genius, thinking ahead. I'm so excited. What's next? Is this a present? Let me read the card. Thank you so much, Abby, for your card. I'm gonna open this up. She kind of explained what it is. So she said she has a small business where of soy wax melts and her brand is called Burn Wall Reading, which is so cute. And then she said she included a wax warmer for me. Oh, thank you so much, because I don't have one. She said, I assume you don't have one, so she got me one. But it's so nice. Okay, let's open up what I assume is the wax melt to go with that. This says it's the book slump cure. This one is romance. This is so cute. Fantasy, your comfort reads. 
blind date with a book, but it's like a wax melt, so you don't know which one it is. This is so creative and so cute. A book in bed. Here's the information. Wanted to check them out. I'm going to keep all of these right here because I'm gonna use this. And then I have this white box and it has like bows drawn all over it, which is so cute. Oh my God. Wait. Let me read this. Thank you so much, Valentina. She said she has a small business. It's at lovely.disco. Oh, and then she said she included a bunch of different shirts in different sizes so that I can give them to friends and stuff. I'm so excited. This one is Welcome to New York. It's been waiting for you. Got love struck, went straight to my head. Oh, I love this one. Karma loves me. Too busy dancing, we're the new romantics. I love the little Snoopy theme we have going on. A hairy one spinning out waiting for you. Strawberry socks. Oh my God, little space socks. These have little planets on them. This is the cutest clip I've ever seen. It looks like a bow, but it's a claw clip. Is this a sweatshirt? Oh my God, it is. Forever is the sweetest con. You're a cowboy like me. Thank you so much. That was so, so nice of you to send me all of this. Check out lovely.disco. And I have some cards that I'm gonna open all at once and then I'll talk to you. Thank you so much, Danny. Look how cute this card is. He sent me all these vinyl stickers. These are so cute. This card is so like aesthetic. Like it looks like something from a movie. Oh, it's a Christmas tree farm bracelet and a Christmas card. This is my first Christmas card, I think. Thank you, Cameron, for the Christmas card. I'm literally gonna put this on the fridge because it's my first Christmas card. I feel like it adds to the decor. Look how cute that is. Don't fall. Another Christmas card. Thank you, Terry. Thank you so much. I hope you know I keep every single one in a drawer over there. It's starting to overflow. What the heck is this? What is this? Why is she cheese? I'm confused. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lily. That's so sweet. Thank you, guys. That's everything from my P.O. box today. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go add the Hunger Games to the shelf. Where should I put it? Well, I really don't have a choice, but for it to go right here for now. Hot chocolate time. I have been actually thinking about having a hot chocolate all day. Sitting here in my cabinet. Oh, remember my old apartment? I used to put you in the cabinet every day. That just really brought me back. I don't think you've ever been in this cabinet before, but this is actually a good spot at nighttime when the light isn't shining through. Welcome back to my cabinet. Let's make our hot chocolate. I need to ask you guys a question of the day. There are a lot of things I'm curious about. I'm trying to decide which day I wanna go home for Christmas. I have to drive eight hours. And like, that just sounds terrible. We're gonna be vlogging it though. One of these days is gonna be a road trip. I just don't know when I wanna go. Let me wait for this. And my question to you is, are you in a relationship? Are you single? Or are you in a situationship? And what's the status? <laughs> Sorry, I'm mixing my hot chocolate. Have you been dating someone for seven years? Have you been in a situationship back and forth with someone for three years? If so, get help. Leave. Are you single? I'm single right now. I say right now as a manifestation that maybe someday it won't be. <laughs> I'm mostly just nosy. And I wanna know. Mm. So yeah, comment down below, or are you married? I just realized I left that out. I'm gonna read through all the comments and be like, wow, must be nice. I'm at a really weird point in my life where like half my friends are single and half my friends are like in very, very serious settled down relationships, like live with their boyfriends, getting engaged. And I mean, a lot of my friends are older, like 24, 25, which isn't like old, but like older than me. Like I have a few friends who like live with their boyfriends and like, I'm like, you guys are gonna get married. You guys are literally my parents. Like I'm gonna be at your wedding, I hope. But then like half my friends are also just like single and living life. I don't really have like any friends that are like dating people. Like dating as in like playing the field. Like I don't have many friends that just like go on dates. Also though, Charleston is a really hard place to date people. I've noticed. The girl to boy ratio here is very skewed towards girls. Like I would say it's probably like 75% women here. Um, I think even the College of Charleston is like for every 10 girls, there's one boy or something like that. And you can definitely tell. Like when I go out, I see mostly girls. The only time I see mostly men is at the bars. Then it's all boys suddenly. But I'm not gonna meet my husband at a bar, I hope. It's not very romantic. But that's why I think I've been able to make such good girlfriends here and like have such a good girlfriend group is because like there's just so many girls here. A really funny story is I had an Uber driver when I first moved here taking me to the airport 
And he was like, do you just move here? And I was like, yeah. He's like, mm, you're not gonna get a boyfriend. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Catching strays. I'm like, what the hell was that? What do you mean? He's like, no offense to you. You seem great, but there's not a lot of boys here. And so all the boys that do live here are either players or they have girlfriends already. And if they don't have a girlfriend, they have a roster of options. And even if they have a girlfriend, they have a roster of options. I was like, oh. And he's like, yeah, because the ratio, like everyone dates each other. You have to join the Facebook group. And he pulls up the Facebook group called, are we dating the same guy, Charleston, where you post a picture of the guy you're seeing to make sure that no one else is seeing the same guy as you. And then every single picture, the comments are like, wait, I was just on a date with that guy. And it's like 20 girls being like, I'm also dating this guy. <sighs> then he was like, yeah, they even fight over the ugly guys. I'm like, oh my God, why are you telling? I just got here. I didn't ask. Also, you're crushing my hopes and dreams. So yeah, that's my sitch. One of my friends though, did meet her boyfriend at a bar here and they're like going strong and live together and are probably gonna get married soon. So maybe there is hope. Just not for me, apparently. What else should we do tonight? Sometimes when I just like stand in the silence, it's like really eerie. I'm like, wow, I live alone. The silence. Okay, I think I'm gonna take an everything shower right now. Um, actually not an everything shower because I'm kind of lazy, but maybe, I don't know. Depends what I'm feeling when I get in there. I'm not a bath person by any means. Like I think I've probably taken maybe 10 baths in my adult life, but this apartment does not have a bath. I have a walk-in shower, which is really, really nice. But sometimes you just want to take a bath, especially now that it's cold out and I can't do that. So I just have to take a hot shower. <sighs> but I'm just in one of those moods where I wish I could be taking a bath, like a candle lit, some nice music playing but I can't. So we're gonna compromise. I'm gonna take a shower in the dark, not in the dark, but in like this lighting, like dark lighting. I just lit a candle in here and I'm gonna play like soothing music and take a nice long hot shower. Also, I get to pick out my PJs of the night, but I'm kinda, I don't know. I wanna wear warm ones. I think I'm gonna go back to these blue and white ones. They're warm and cozy. What song should I listen to? Like I could listen to Sad Taylor Swift or I could listen to like Zach Bryan. <laughs> Those are like my only two things I listen to. Or I made this new playlist called Porch Swinging and it's all like music. I picture myself sitting on a porch swing, sunset, someone like playing the guitar to me singing one of these songs. So maybe I'll listen to this. Or I want something like more chill. That was such a nice shower. Honestly, I could go to bed right now and it's like 7.30 or something. <laughs> also, I just like ripped off my acrylics on one of my hands. I had like these nub acrylics on. I've had these on for like over a month now. And then I just ripped this hand, like some of them off. And my nail is so weak underneath. So I think I'm gonna try to put fake nails on. I really don't wanna do my nails right now, but I really don't want my nails to break either. Oh, I didn't mean to flip you off. Sorry. Girls that put on perfume after the shower, you get it, you get me. I can't find my fake nails anywhere and I'm so confused. Cause I bought like this huge pack of them. Also, oh here they are. Everyone on my For You page and all my friends are watching that show, the knockoff Summer I Turn Pretty. What the hell is it called? My Life with the Walter Boys, I think. You know what I'm talking about, if that's not it. And like, I don't want to watch it, but like I do because I feel out of the loop. So like, should I watch it? You guys tell me. Would I actually like it? Cause I really hate cringy shows. Like I can handle the cringy level of like the summer I turn pretty, but I can't handle the cringe level of like Ginny and Georgia. I hated Ginny and Georgia. So like, will I like it? Is the romance worth it? I'm pretty sure I read it on Wattpad when I was a kid. Like, if my memory serves me right, I'm like 90% sure. Maybe I should just go get my nails done tomorrow. I probably should. I just don't want to get acrylics. I just want, like, gel, but that will actually stay. Anyways, should I watch my life with the Walter boys? I can't decide. Also, what is it even on? Is it on Netflix? I got kicked off my family Netflix because it says I'm not on the Wi-Fi network. I'm so annoyed. I can use, I can watch it on my phone, but I can't watch it on my TV anymore. So I'm gonna have to make my own account. I'm really growing up. Oh my God, imagine I had that long of nails. I low key am gonna leave it like that though because I don't feel like trimming it. Guys, look at these claws. <laughs> I feel like I could literally scratch someone's eye out with these. I've never had nails this long before. 
Um, but these are the fake nails I always put on and then I trim them. I just got like this big salon pack on Amazon, but I usually cut them, but I'm feeling really lazy. Should I just go get my nails done tomorrow? I didn't glue these on. I just used the little stickers so that they come off really easy. Should I go get my nails done tomorrow? I feel like I should. I only get them done if I have like an event, but I guess it's Christmas. You know, when you get your nails done, you just want to talk with your hands. That's what I feel like right now. I start doing like hand gestures while I'm talking. Which cookie should I eat? Yesterday I ate the ugliest one. I just don't want to eat these because they're so cute. Maybe I'll eat this stocking or the mitten. I'm going to eat the mitten because the mitten is very basic and plain. Mm. These are so basic but so good. I need to find a question of the day. Found a question of the day. <laughs> That's kind of funny. At Paula San Jose 7299 asked, what is one of the most embarrassing experiences you've ever had? I was trying to think and the only thing, like the first thing that comes to mind that was genuinely so embarrassing for me at the time. Now I don't care, but it was in high school, like my junior year maybe. I was on the cheer team. I've done cheer my whole life and I was on the cheer team. We were cheering for our school's basketball team and we had made it to states. We were at like the state finals. We were playing in an arena, like a huge arena and it was sold out because there was a kid on our basketball team who was going into the NBA. So like a bunch of people were coming to watch him. The arena was literally sold out. It was packed. And then our cheer team was on the sidelines cheering. I was always the designated person that when there was like a timeout or a pause or a break or something, my coach would make me go do my tumbling pass, like to just like entertain the crowd. And I would just do like back handsprings like a bunch in a row. And it was what I did at every game. So like I knew the routine, I knew the drill. We were at the arena, first time ever. The adrenaline was high. There was a jumbotron and all of us were on the jumbotron. Like you'd see like the cheerleaders up there. You see the game up there. There was a timeout. And my coach was like, Stephanie, go do your tumbling pass. And I was feeling confident. I was feeling really confident because I was like, I'm on the jumbotron. It was literally just me on the jumbotron in front of this whole arena. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do a tuck. We we're on hardwood floor and I'm doing like my back handsprings like a multiple in a row So I'm already dizzy as I'm upside down doing my tumbling. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna add a tuck on the end. Don't know why literally just because I was like feeling overconfident So I did a tuck and then I landed in a puddle of either water and or sweat Don't know because you know how they have people on the side of the basketball games that are like mopping Well, obviously I didn't mop this spot because I land right in this water it was like a cartoon. My feet swept out from under me and I fell on my butt and on my back and it was on the Jumbotron. And my whole school saw, not only did my whole school see, but I think it might've been on TV. And the whole arena was like, oh, like a collective sigh of concern. And then that's not even the worst part. I had to get up off the floor and walk along the whole sidelines back to my spot. And everyone was staring at me and my face was so red and I wanted to cry. Oh, and my butt was wet. I had a huge wet spot on my butt from falling in the water. I wish you guys could have heard the arena go, oh, when I fell. At the time, mortified, so embarrassed. I never wanted to show my face again. Now I'm like, Happens to the best of us. Nobody probably remembers that but me. That's like the one really embarrassing thing I can think of. Second question of the day though, please comment an embarrassing story. Make me feel better about myself and give me a nice laugh. I think I would enjoy reading your embarrassing stories after telling mine. Now I'm gonna end the vlog. I'm gonna go to sleep now. It's literally 9.29. Do I care? No, I'm going to bed. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna follow me on my other social medias, they're all linked down below as always, and I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye.